So, paint it and wear a patch and take your little paint in. And these air vents register. Uh, I had to trim all over this again. It's too blotchy now, it looks straight. And the other air. I had to redo over this plate outlet, or around it, I meant. Uh, that was too blotchy. There's too many high spots. Uh, did all behind the oven, there's a spot I did. Um, the wall, there's some spots and to redo, and, uh, up here and uh, along this, along the cabinets, and along this wall here, along this wall around this outlet, or I mean the light switch, uh, what filled the doors. I have like three holes on this one now it's perfect uh little patches elsewhere on the drywall around the light outlets to so they sit flush around this door jam uh, this door had a few holes in it uh some of these blotches i I didn't patch it someone else did this there was a huge punch hole that someone patched that I've redone. That uh, looks really good new to Oregon. And then around the light switch, this wall here, texture and paint it over, the air return I painted over. I have to find another screw, that's why the other one's missing, it was a missing one. I might paint this, I don't know. I have to clean it a lot. Uh, and, yeah, a big spot on the door. It's still wet, I just put a final coat on the that and then I patched around this window frame some cracks and spots and retextured a little where it wasn't as high of spots and there's a ding from the door over here near there that I patched in and the next room oh yeah I patched in or I just painted it around here there's a little bit of crack I covered up with the paint and I've textured and patched this I might go around this with a little more paint later on some of these other spots where it's like that they didn't paint it that good on the first time around. A little spot there I textured and painted. Uh, this door had some dings that I textured and painted by the bottom. Uh, there's frayed parts where pieces of wood were missing. I painted it and uh, some patches and texturing there. Uh, around this window seal too and I made sure the texturing is more like the original texturing uh, uh, this door here had a hole on it straight here I patched it and then this door here had one here I patched it and painted it patched that one and painted it and, uh, Couple other ones on these doors that patched and painted, and uh, I might need to paint a tiny little bit more, but it's like a, it looks pretty good. I think I've got most of the worst spots. So it's like around the oven, it's like it was real dark. It looked like a fire was burning below from people burning stuff that's lived here before, but I. Uh, Texture and paint and painted the air return here too and texture and painted all the gaps. I was getting a crack along this whole thing and these ones here, painted all that, painted the window seal here. Redid all these knobs. That's where they're all clear coated and shiny again. And these ones here. Put some cabinet liners in, a few of these. I got a few more. Uh Put some in these ones too. I need one for that one though. Well, that I might just leave if it has a set. Oh, I guess that one needs one because it's peeling up. I did these ones. Uh, I haven't done those ones yet. 
Uh, I painted these cabinet doors too. They're pretty dirty. Okay, behind the oven, I textured and painted here too. And um, pretty much that's it. Uh, it looks better than when I made them by far. Like right here is some. I might need to paint a little where it's like dark spots somehow. I didn't paint it good enough the first time they painted the place. There used to be a line all the way across here like that and that where they didn't even paint. So I just went over it. I attached a few spots where nails and stuff were coming through the walls here. And text, uh, textured it and painted and uh, uh, it's looking pretty good if I zoom out and Look at it, it's looking really good.